In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad, your excellencies, your highnesses, uh, brothers and sisters, dear audience, peace be upon you. In the beginning, I'm, I would like to thank the Ministry of Industry and Mineral Resources for organizing this conference that provides a true platform exchange of ideas and opinions through the scientific sessions and different sessions to understand about the updates in this sector, provides all the materials needed for other different economical sectors, brothers and sisters. No doubt there are conventions that are assured in regards to the environment and to protect it in all developmental practices to achieve a sustainable economy. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, with a directive from the wise leadership, to protect the environment since the vision of the kingdom 2030 included the protection of the environment and its natural resources that is a religious and humanitarian obligation and it is our responsibility towards the next generations the national environment strategy also targeted the environmental system and to update the environmental system System, as the environmental framework was restructured with five environmental centers and to limit drought and to preserve wildlife due to the climate change to waste management and to increase the community participation in such activities and the systems and the regulations clarified the duties and the responsibilities of all the related entities to be in compliance and to remain committed to all the regulations harnessing advanced technology that will result, God willing, to protect the environment and to create promising investment opportunities. Dear brothers and sisters, the announcement of the Crown Prince of the Middle, Green Middle East and, and the Green Saudi Arabia is another example of the great concern undertaken by the wise leadership, both locally and globally to face all the environmental challenges and the participation of the kingdom in all the international agreements pertaining to the protection of the environment. I would like also to emphasize there is no contradiction between remaining committed to the environmental demands and the economical growth. The economical indicators clearly state that countries that since the international banks determines the protection of environment as one of the main requirements for funding major projects. I would like to re-emphasize that achieving the national objectives to protect the environment comes only by the participation of all the segments of the society, both the public and the private sector, the voluntary organizations. Therefore, the ministry would like to reinforce their effective partnership for the quality of the life and the protection of the environment for this generation and coming generations. Protecting the environment and limiting pollution and protecting the ecosystems is a very important matter and to achieve sustainable growth with all its social and economical dimensions and for the good, a better health for coming generation. In conclusion, 
I thank His Excellency, the Minister of Industry and Mineral Resources, Mr. Khayyib, for inviting us to this occasion and all officials at his ministry, hoping that we will achieve success and peace be upon you.